Hi, I'm Joseph Arthur, and you're watching Live at Club Cafe, the next stage in music. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Tonight on Live at Club Cafe, Joseph Arthur. Painting enhances his performance, and it's truly a symbiotic relationship. It depends on the energy, you know? It's also strange, like, if I'm a little closed down and internal, if I paint early on, it somehow exposes something and opens me up quicker. So then the music becomes more open, too. Plus, Cracker and Camper Van Beethoven. Their songwriting is smart, but mostly tongue-in-cheek, just like them. Too often, like, uh, songwriters write songs sort of I think they take their entire narrative style from their, you know, when they're in sixth grade and they have to write that what I did over my summer vacation <laughs> essay. Two great artists, one great night. So sit back, you're watching Live at Club Cafe, the next stage in music. I'm Mara McFalls, and we're at Club Cafe on Pittsburgh Southside. Now, kicking off tonight's show, we've got Joseph Arthur. Now, Joseph was plucked from his job at a music store in Atlanta when his demo tape got into the hands of Peter Gabriel. Enter the whirlwind. For the next few years, Joseph toured the world with Peter, but then lightning hit again. Michael Stipe from R.E.M. handpicked Joseph to open up for their world tour. So he's either incredibly lucky or incredibly talented. Well, we think he's both, but you can see for yourself tonight on Live at Club Cafe. He was cut, then there was no fear. The dogs of hell were then unborn. And like a ghost without an atmosphere, his voice sang without a song. Singing to the ships as the bark horns blow. Shipping of light where darkness hides. The night was blind, but it could see him go. For in this dark, his light survives. I came from sort of Midwestern sensibility of Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix and Bob Dylan and the idea of drum machines and stuff like that was, uh, that was cheesy to me or to me and my peer group, you know? So going to London and living there, realizing, oh, drum machines aren't cheesy, they're actually cool, you know? So then it just opened my mind. I think it was, you know, living in a different culture, then you all of a sudden open your mind to, you know, it's kind of painful because you don't, you're not used to it and you don't understand what's going on, but you, you grow from it. It's weird, it's a strange like relationship with the painting and the music, I guess, yeah, because it felt very vulnerable to paint in front of people, uh, more so than singing in front of people, just because I've sung in front of people for quite some time. But um, So I just went up there with the initial energy and just started drawing something before I played. And that's been what I've been doing. And then the idea to actually sing and paint at the same time came a little later. I was doing an interview. And, the lady misunderstood me and she said, oh, you sing and paint at the same time. And then I was like, well, no, I haven't, but I think that's a good idea. 
There's a lot to absorb at his shows, from the live painting to his signature sound of looping, which is a technique that layers the music and the vocals with special effects. And the way it started was uh, I was at Real World, um, which is Peter Gabriel's studio, and um, this guy, Paul Riddow, he helped me develop it. He just said, have you ever played over de delays? And I was like, uh, yeah, I had done that. I had delay pedal as a kid, you know, which you could like set a little loop and just jam over it. But he, then he introduced me to this thing called the Jam Man. And then over the, over the course of like a month in the English countryside, basically, I just did nothing but sit in a room, um, a practice room by myself. Addiction is how I have found um, religion in a way, or spirituality. I think like uh, addicts tend to be spiritual people that are looking for a, a connection. I think everybody's looking for a connection, um, and addicts go about it in a really wrong way. <laughs> Jesus, he came down here to die for all my sins. Need him to come back here and die for me again. Cause I cannot forgive myself for what it is I've done. Avoid your memory. Like a vampire avoids the sun. Ooh, ah, shut the light on me. Ooh, ah, shut the light. Shut the light on.
definitely been tortured, you know, or I guess I should say I've tormented myself a lot and enough, and I've lived through it, and uh, I'm in a place where I feel like I, I can blossom and I can give back what's been given to me. Joseph's latest CD called Our Shadows Will Remain is in stores now. If you want to find out more about Joseph or his artwork, you can go to our website at clubcafelive.com. Now stay tuned because the guys from Cracker and Camper Van Beethoven are coming up next. Live at Club Cafe is powered by Comcast and sponsored by Budweiser True Music and Saturn of Wexford, Saturn of West Liberty, and Saturn of Pleasant Hills. Hi, this is Nick Harcourt, host of the radio show Morning Becomes Eclectic on KCRW in Los Angeles and online at KCRW.com. I'm phoning into live at Club Cafe to tell you a little bit about what I've been listening to lately. First of all, a band that I just recorded a session with out of San Francisco. They're called Every Move a Picture. If you like early U2, maybe some early Talking Heads, maybe you're a Bowie fan, or maybe you're an Interpol fan, I think you're going to like this group. They've got an independent EP out right now. You can get it from their website, everymoveapicture.com. Second band is a group out of Chicago that I'm liking. They're called The Ponies. I don't really know too much about these guys, apart from the fact they just released their second album, and I believe there's a bit of a buzz going on in the indie scene. Uh, in Chicago about the ponies and it's something that we've just started playing on the radio and then the Decemberists now they're out of Portland, Oregon they've got that real indie sensibility that Portland is famous for and they have a new album out uh, right now called Picaresque which we're liking you can hear these artists and learn much more about them on my radio show Morning Becomes Eclectic just go to kcrw.com and now back to more great music live at Club Cafe Welcome back. Our next guests are Cracker and Camper Van Beethoven. Now stick with me. David Lowry is the frontman of both bands, and he's out on tour doing an unplugged set of music from both Cracker and the new album from his revived band, Camper Van Beethoven. It's a great show, and we're proud to bring it to you tonight, live at Club Cafe. Sometimes I want to take you down Sometimes I want to get you low Brush your hair back from your eyes Take you down, let the river flow Sometimes I'm gonna walk the streets Behind a green sheet of glass A million miles for leather feet taking a break from Cracker, and he reunited with his band, Camper Van Beethoven. In 2004, they put out their first full-length album in 16 years, called New Roman Times. It tells the story of a young soldier in the Christian fundamentalist army, uh, Republic of Texas Army, and um, they get involved, and Texas gets involved in some misadventure somewhere else in the world, and then California, who's their ally, doesn't go along with them, so they end up invading California. And, um, you know, but there's space aliens, there's like a bunch of stuff about encryption, um, uh, you know, cryptology, um, things like that. Since I was a mathematician, we just have to make the record as obscure as possible. I'm crawling through the underbrush, we're tacked up to the hilt. Compared to us, these poor guys should be wearing swords and kilts. I've got a livid, breathing shadow crossed up in my scope. My partner gives a signal, pull the trigger for the smoke. Mike makes right, yeah, Mike makes right. They say that God is on our side, he makes us mighty. Yeah, Mike makes right, yeah, Mike makes right. They say that God is on our side, I don't believe them. John. 
it's kind of a big family. I mean, I'm not in camp with Van Beethoven, never have been. I mean, people are a little but confused about that. But he's written songs that are on the records. Um, and our friendship predates um, camper, so I'm, I'm kind of a camper stalker. I mean, I was a really <laughs> big fan. And people ask me, well, wow, wow. Camper's getting back together. What does that mean for Cracker? It means that, that means that both bands are going to keep going, and we're going to. It's going to be cool because I'm a camper man, Beethoven fan. I don't know what the world may need, but a V8 engine's a good start for me. Think I'll drive and find a place to be surly. I don't know what the world may want, but some words of wisdom could comfort us. Think I'll leave that up to. Someone wiser Cause what the world needs now Are some true words of wisdom Like la 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 Cause what the world needs now Is another a folk singer Like I need a holy man Sauce. Stick around, we've got more from the Cracker Camper Guys coming up next. in the park Went down to Barcelona Someone broke in my car Yeah, I searched the world over For my angel in black Yeah, I searched the world over for a Euro trash girl Took the train down to Athens And I bathed in a fountain Some Swiss junkie in Turin Ripped me off on my cash we're like a glorified bar band, except we play our own songs. That's <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you stay around for a couple of decades. Yeah. Take the skinheads falling, take them falling. Take the skinheads falling, take them falling. Some people say they're falling out of these scopic lanes. Some people say the bowling alleys all look the same. Look the same, look the same. There's no line that goes here if I'm robbed of anything. Anything, anything. Had a dream last night, but I forget what it was. What it was, what it was. Take the skin next, bowling, take them bowling. Take the skin next, bowling, take them bowling. Dream last night about you, my friend. Had a dream, wanted to sleep next to plastic. I had a dream, I wanted to lick your knees. Had a dream, it was about nothing. Take the skin that's falling, take them falling. You can check out the new Camper Van Beethoven CD, New Roman Times. It's in stores now. If you want to find out more about Cracker or Camper Van Beethoven, you can go to our website at clubcafelive.com. 
And now it's time to check out this week's Buzz. We're back for this week's Buzz, where we bring you the freshest music that's out there, starting with some of the new CDs that have come out this week. First up, the 2220s. They're the new generation of Brit rockers, a cross between Coldplay and the Yardbirds. And they come out with their self-titled debut release, the 2220s. Also out this week, the new release, Copycat Killers, from the glammed up garage rockers, Cobra Verde. After the show. And the latest from folk legend Loudon Wainwright called Here Come the Choppers. And it's got a great tribute song on it to Pittsburgh's own Mr. Rogers. And Adrian Ballou from the Bears and David Bowie fame has taken pop rocker Saul Zonana under his wing and brings us Saul's latest release called 42 Days. Last week we brought you some of the young stars from our Canadian neighbors up north, but this week let's flip it and head south because some of the most inspired music is happening in places like Bogota, Caracas, and Mexico City. Like funky cool Venezuelan rock band Los Amigas Invisibles, the Argentine Babasonicos bring us a brooding glam rock, Peruvian rockers Libido have a psychedelic feel, Mexico City singer-songwriter Ellie Guerrera, and of course the Mexican-American favorites Los Lonely Boys. So head over to the world music section of your CD shop and check them out. Stick around because when we come back we're going to dip into the Club Cafe archives for a special performance you're not going to want to miss. We'll be right back. This Buzz segment was brought to you by Saturn of Wexford, Saturn of West Liberty and Saturn of Pleasant Hills. Saturn. People first. Budweiser True Music presents A Moment in Time from the Club Cafe Archives. You would tell me I don't miss you, no, not at least these days. No, I don't really miss you, except when you close the door behind. All the mocking moments point and grin just to remind me how they will be my company for all the time that you're away. Now, Fatten up and multiply, they'll fill up the whole day. Oh, how then could I miss you when you left me so much time? Thanks for joining us tonight. Now here's a preview of next week's show. I went far, far, far away. That's our show for tonight. I'm Mar McFalls. Thanks for watching. Leave me alone.